11 News. There's one in every neighborhood, an intersection that catches drivers off guard, but residents in one North Texas community say this one is only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. So they call the Ones for Justice reporter Alana Otler. This is a curve that tests even the most experienced drivers, which is why some neighbors want more signs warning you about what's ahead. I think they just paved over that and didn't replace the sign. Meet Jack Bowen, just a local man on a local mission. And this would be similar to a fire truck. Look how wide he's got to go. The curve is at Horseman and White Feather in the Chisholm Ridge neighborhood. On one end, the speed limit is 10 miles per hour. On the other, it's 30. What's the nickname you've given this area? Dead Man's Curve. I hope it never lives up or down to that name. To prove his point, Bowen made a video, complete with its own soundtrack. Bowen recorded the traffic one morning for 51 minutes, but it only takes seconds to see the problem. Watch as this ambulance rounds the corner, right behind it, a fire truck squeezing past an SUV. Next comes a school bus. Then the same fire truck comes back and runs over the curb. We're just begging somebody bite the bullet. Please bite the bullet and do something about this. We took Bowen's concerns and his video to Fort Worth's Assistant Director of Transportation and Public Works. Is this safe? So again, it could be safer. Uh, Tanya Brooks says there. even before Bowen's video, the city placed jersey barriers and barrels at the curve, only to be removed by a property owner. We substituted other safety signage there as well to try to maintain as much safety through that, you know, turn. During our interview, leaders unveiled new proposals, including a reduced speed limit, additional lighting, object markers, warning signs, and a stop sign. Safety is our sole purpose of making intersection improvements in the city of Fort Worth. And we're not only looking at safety for motorists, but we also look at safety for pedestrians. Since 2013, two crashes were reported from this corner. Both resulted in property damages, but no injuries. Before making any changes, the city plans to talk to the neighborhood about its proposal. Each sign will cost about $500. In Fort Worth, I'm Alana Altler with the Ones for Justice. This is CBS 11 News at 10. Residents in Fort Worth's Chisholm Ridge neighborhood say somebody is going to get hurt and they want something to change to warn drivers about this intersection. This is where one road just kind of stops. Neighbor recorded this showing emergency vehicles squeezing around each other. Cars hitting the curb, in fact, and the, here the fire truck goes right over the top of the curb because there's not enough room. We had additional signage that was erroneously uh, taken down by the developers. So we're, you know, going back and replacing signs that we initially had up that we weren't aware that had been taken down until recently. Fort Worth says they plan to meet with neighbors before making any kind of changes. Since 2013, two crashes have happened at that corner. No one's been injured, though, to our knowledge.